Man who confessed to killing his girlfriend and their unborn child back in court today. And 23 ABC's Ken Masenchi there. He's at the courthouse now where that suspect arraigned for a second time. Ken? Yeah, Tim, just a few days after telling the judge he was guilty, Manuel Vela was back in the courtroom today on the same day that Katrina Rivera and baby Josiah were laid to rest. There was no plea from Manuel Vela on Wednesday, although Vela had made it clear during a jailhouse interview last week that he killed Katrina Rivera and their unborn son Josiah earlier this month. We was going to switch courses, but, well, he just said, run it. So we're going to run it. Who is he? Oh, see, say Lucifer. Because that was the last step of, you know, defying any law of any authority from any god. Villa defied the law last week when he shouted guilty during his first court appearance. For now, the court process will be on hold for Vela, who must undergo a competency evaluation in the coming weeks. This comes after Vela says he choked Rivera and then cut the unborn baby out of her womb before being arrested after a short pursuit. He told 23ABC that killing Rivera was a plan he had devised while he was serving a prison sentence last year. Phone calls, I'm going to kill you. I'm getting out, I'm going to kill you. Everything. Everything has changed for the Rivera family, who held a private funeral for Katrina and baby Josiah today. Last week, a family friend told 23 ABC the Rivera family is coming together to try to make it through this tragedy. We're all just using our faith to get through this time and just stay unified. And, and I think that's a good testament as to how important family is. And how important your faith is. Now faith shifts to the legal system where Vela's guilt appears to be abundant but still needs to be proven. Vela will be back in court in late January for a status report on that competency evaluation. Live in downtown Bakersfield, Ken Masenchi, 23 ABC.